my dear friends my name is Ankur Jain in this video I am going to explain the design pattern offered by Oracle integration cloud so let's get started and see how many design patterns are available and what are the use of all these patterns so let's get started so Oracle integration cloud design patterns oracle integration cloud is a oracle offering that simplifies the development of cloud and on-premise app integrations the integration development and operation lifecycle is managed using a web-based console without having to write a single line of code oracle integration cloud offers integration patterns allows us to use exchange data between cloud and on-premise application which means when we subscribe Oracle Integration Cloud, we get our web-based console, which help us to develop integrations. So YC offers six integration pattern, which help us to build from simple to complex integration. So when we choose to build an integration, the starting point is to select the available patterns. So Oracle offers six integration pattern. First is app-driven orchestration. Second, schedule orchestration third file transfer fourth basic routing fifth publish to oic and the last one is subscribe to oic so let's see what are all those and when to use how to use so the first pattern is app driven orchestration pattern this is most useful pattern so we can use this pattern if we wanted to create a multi step level integration so create an integration that uses an event for a business object to trigger. For example, create an integration with Salesforce adapter as a trigger and Oracle Sales Cloud as an invoke activity. Salesforce sends an outbound messages which triggers an OIC integration. So when you create a very complex integration in which there might be a multiple sources to get the data, we can massage the data, we can do for each looping, and after aggregating the data, we can send the data to target application. So in all these scenarios, we can use this app-driven orchestration pattern. So use this pattern when you want it to create complex integration. In orchestration pattern, we can invoke any available activity as below. Like we can use for each activity to loop over the array element. We can use switch activity for multiple routes. We can use scope activity to handle exceptions. We can use ad hoc mapper to add a extra mapper as per our need. So apart from the apart from these, there are lots of activity which can be used in this pattern. The second pattern is a schedule orchestration pattern. The pattern helps us to develop an integration which can be scheduled which can run on a predefined frequency as well as on ad hoc basis. So while using this pattern, a scheduled activity occurs as a trigger, which means when we use the schedule orchestration, the default trigger activity will be a scheduled activity. So you can not drag and drop any connection as a trigger activity. For example, we add an initial invoke adapter to read a trigger file and a second FTP adapter to download the file for further processing. After designing this integration, you schedule when to run it, which means the integration can be run on a certain frequency that depends on our requirement. For example, if we wanted to run an integration once in a day or twice in a day or every hour, we can set those kind of frequency. So use this pattern when you want to develop an integration which can run on some scheduled frequency. The third pattern is file transfer pattern. This pattern create an integration to move files across network. Once we opt this pattern, a scheduled integration would be created which can run on certain frequency. Again, we can say this is another type of scheduled integration. Use this pattern when you want it to move files from one SFTP location to another location or we have one FTP and we wanted to read the file from one FTP and transfer the file to downstream application. So this is the case when we use this file transfer design pattern. 
The next pattern is a basic routing pattern. This is a very simplest pattern. This helps us to create a very simple integration where we have single source and a single target system with no logic and processing on the data. Create an integration with a blank trigger and invoke in which to add your own adapters. You can also create a single routing expression and request and response enrichments as needed. We cannot create multiple routing expression which means that when we opt this basic routing pattern, there is no activity which can be used in this particular pattern. Like in the app driven orchestration, there are lots of activity which can be used to enrich the integration. But in this basic routing pattern, there is no activity available. Only you can drop a source connection or you can draw and can drop a target connection. So use this pattern when we have a single source and single target with no more complex processing in the data. The next pattern is published to YC pattern. Again, this is a very, very useful pattern. We uh, create an integration in which you add a trigger adapted to publish messages to Oracle integration uh, through a predefined Oracle integration messaging invoke. No configuration of the invoke subscription is required. So every OIC has the inbuilt queues which can be used to publish messages. The publisher and subscriber participating in this integration pattern can be activated and deactivated independently of each other. For example, let's suppose you have an HRMS application in which all employees get onboarded and you want to synchronize these employees into different different target applications. So what you can do, you can add a publish to OIC integration, which can take data from the HRMS system and publish those messages into the OIC queue. And once the message is published into the OIC queue, we can use another subscribe to pattern to subscribe those messages. For example, let's suppose you have two applications, two downstream application where you wanted to synchronize these employees. So what you can do, you can create two subscriber as per your downstream application. As soon as the message will go into the YCQ, the subscribe to pattern will subscribe those messages and will send the employee into the target application. So both publisher and subscriber pattern can be used to publish the message and subscribe to subscribe those messages. So subscribe to pattern is again a very, very helpful, uh, is a very uh, good design pattern offered by Oracle. So create an integration in which you add an invoke adapter to subscribe to messages from Oracle integration through an Oracle integration messaging trigger. We are promoted to select the publisher to which to subscribe. So we cannot create subscriber integration till the time at least we have one publisher integration. So we must have already created a publisher to which to subscribe. The publisher does not need to be active, but must already be completely configured. So these are six available pattern which Oracle offers. Thank you for watching the video. You can follow me over LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, or you can subscribe my channel. Also, you can have a look on my blog, which is accessible over https colon slash slash www.techsupper.com. Thank you. Bye.